very good morning friends let us discuss uh, problems on isometric projection so this is my youtube channel let us take uh, the problem so this is a isometric problem a regular pentagonal prism of base side 30 mm and axis uh, 60 mm is mounted centrally for a cylindrical block of 80 mm diameter and 25 mm thick draw the isometric projection of the combined solid so this is the given problem see in this problem is given uh, two different solids one is a regular pentagonal prism and uh, second one is a cylindrical block uh, for the given diam diameter of the cylindrical block is 80 mm and the uh, thickness is 20 25 mm is given and for regular pentagonal prism the base side is given 30 mm and axis is 60 mm and this pentagonal prism is mounted centrally is mounted centrally or a rec or a cylindrical block or a cylindrical block for the given diameter and thickness so now cylindrical block is the base solid let us construct the cylindrical block first then convert into isometric scale then let us construct the pentagonal prism convert into isometric scale and place it on a cylindrical block centrally so that is a given problem let us construct let us construct the first problem so i'll construct a cylindrical block for the given diameter diameter is uh, 80 mm is given so let us go to line and use a very thin line so i'm constructing a cylindrical block for the diameter is 80 is given so let us construct a square of 80 by 80. Length is uh, 80 and radius angle is uh, 30 degree. Again from this side, length is diameter that is 80 and uh, angle is uh, 150. Then length is uh, same 80, angle is 30 degree and length is uh, 80, angle is minus 30 degree. So now we need to construct a sphere. We need to construct a sphere. Cylinder means you have a top surface and bottom surface. Top surface you have a circle type, and bottom surface it, uh, you have one more circle type. Circle type nothing but a sphere. So let us construct a sphere. So now I'll choose. Uh, I'll go to arc by center. Let us go to arc by center arc by center point so this is my the center and this is uh, construct the arc from the center of this line to center of this line similarly take this the center and construct the arc from the center of this line center of this line to center of this line construct the arc like this now join the diagonal lines join this corner and uh, this corner and also join the end point of this arc and this corner similarly join the end point of this arc and this corner so now again and go to arc by center choose this is the center this is the center and choose this will be the radius and construct the arc like this Similarly, this side, use this the center, this will be the radius, and constructing arc like this. I'm constructing arc like this. So I got a sphere. So now, let's find the midpoint of this uh, square. So this is the midpoint and for the cylindrical block diameter 80 okay and thickness is 25 mm from here you draw 25 mm vertical line so from here you draw on 25 mm vertical line from the center so select a line this is my center let us draw 25 mm vertical line so length is 25 mm length is 25 angle should be 90 height or let us take this axis line. So now construct in the same way, construct one more sphere and place it uh, at the end point of this line. 
So here, instead of constructing this pair, I will copy this complete element like this. I'll copy this complete element and go to move. Copy should be on. So I'm moving. So just choose this endpoint of uh, choose the midpoint and place the midpoint here exactly. I'm placing here the endpoint. Now it is visible. So make visible lines are thick. So these are the visible lines. And my this is thick. This is the just make it thick and draw the tangent line. Just I zoom that area. Just draw the tangent line. So from here to here, just draw the tangent line again. From here to from here to here to draw the tangent. So this is uh, the cylinder. This is the cylinder. So now convert the cylinder into isometric scale. Just select this complete cylinder. Go to scale. Copy should be off. And uh, scale factor is 0 0.8164. Just type 0 0.8164. Press OK. Enter. So I constructed the cylindrical block. I constructed the cylindrical block. Now let us construct the pentagonal prism. Let us construct the pentagonal prism of base side 30 mm and axis is 60 mm. And this pentagonal prism should be placed uh, over a cylindrical block. And uh, we need to place exactly at the uh, midpoint of the cylinder. Or we can say we need to place exactly at the center of this cylindrical block. So let us construct the pentagonal prism. See, to construct either pentagonal or hexagonal prism, first we need to construct the pentagon, then enclose the pentagon in a square box, then try to construct the prism as per the scale. So now let us construct the pentagon. Just for my reference, I'm constructing pentagon somewhere here, just for my reference. Let us construct the pentagon of uh, sides 30 mm so length is 30 base angle is uh, 0 length is 30 base angle is uh, 72 and length is 30 base angle is 72 into 2 72 into 2 length is uh, 30 base angle is 72 into 3 length is uh, 30 base angle is 22 into 4 i construct the pentagon for the given uh, length that is 30 mm now enclose this pentagon in a rectangular box. I am enclosing this pentagon in a rectangular box. Let us uh, enclose this pentagon in a rectangular box. Just draw a vertical downward line. Again from here. From here. From here. Draw vertical lines. Again, from here, from here, horizontal line, then from here, then from here, draw the lines like this and uh, trim the extra lines, unwanted lines. Okay, so I constructed. Uh, a pentagon and enclosed in a rectangular box. Now, for my reference, I will measure this distance, this and uh, uh, this. This distance I am getting uh, 9.27 and this also 9.27. Obviously, we get 9.27. This also we are getting 9.27. Measure this and this. 28.53 and even this also 28.5. Let us measure this and uh, this. 24.27 just for my reference i need uh, these uh, dimensions now let us construct the prism directly i'll go to i'll go to uh, sheet 
and let us construct a prism. Now, first I'll construct, and I need this distance, I need these dimensions. Getting 48.54 and uh, this square. I'm getting uh, 46.17. Let us construct this uh, this square first, then uh, identify these points and try to get the pentagon. So now I will uh, use a thin line. I use thin line. So let us construct the square. 48.54, 48.54. Uh, base angle is 30 degree. Then other side is uh, 46.17. 46.17. Base angle is 150. So this side is uh, uh, 48.54. And I have this 30. Next is 46.17. And I have this minus 30. I construct this one. So this is this point. This is my reference point, and uh, the same thing I will represent it here. So now, just cut this uh, dimensions 9.27. So go to R by center. We have uh, R by center. Keep uh, this is a center. If you want, we can zoom that area. Just add zoom that area. Uh, I will go to R by center. Uh, this is my center, and uh, radius is 9.27. 9.27. And uh, cut this one. Similarly, this side this is my center. Radius is uh, 9.27. 9.27. And uh, cut this line. Okay, I got these two points. Now we need to find this point 28.53. Uh, Again, go to our center. And radius is uh, 28.53. So cut this one. Similarly, this side this is my. This is my center and radius is 28.53 and cut this line. And this is 24.017. And let us take this is uh, center and radius is 24.27. And uh, you can cut this one. So I got uh, section points. Now let us join all the points. Go to line, use thickness 0.50. This, this, and I join this, I join this, I join this, and I join this. Okay, so this is just for my reference. I will delete these uh, arcs. I don't want these arc points. Just for reference, I draw. So now the next step is. Uh, we need to find the midpoint. We need to find the midpoint of uh, this pentagon. Just find the midpoint of this pentagon. To get the midpoint of this pentagon, I go to line. Just select this corner and opposite edge for this corner is this one. Just draw mid, uh, midpoint of this line. Select this cor any corner. Uh, for this corner, or this is my opposite edge. For opposite edge midpoint. So we got the center. We got the center. Okay. And here is given one more thing. Uh, pentagonal prism of base side 30 mm. Axis is 60 mm is clear dimension. So let us draw an axis line from the midpoint that is 60 mm. So from here I am constructing 60 mm vertical line. Length is 60 angle is 90 and it should be axis. So I get axis line. So now again we need to draw this is the bottom surface. Again, we need to draw top surface of the prism. So instead of drawing uh, the top surface, just I'll copy and I'll place it here. Just select this uh, base and uh, go to more option. Then we have more option. Remember, copy should be on. Select this midpoint and place a midpoint here at the top surface. So now join the respective edges. Go to line, uh, choose uh, visible lines. This and this, this and this, this and this, this and this, and uh, this and uh, this I join. Okay. 
Now convert into isometric scale. Just select this complete uh, solid. Uh, go to scale. Go to scale. Scale factor is 0.8164. Press enter and click on the screen. Now you can try to erase the invisible lines or invisible edges. So I'm deleting this. I'm deleting this. Not visible. Not visible. Not visible. I deleted the uh, hidden edges. Again here, which is a midpoint. So this is my top surface. For the top surface, just we need to find the midpoint. So midpoint of the top surface is this is the midpoint of the top surface. Just select this one uh, and place it here. So now I go to more option. I go to more option. Copy should be off. Uh, select the uh, First, select the solid. Select the solid. Go to more option. Copy should be off. Select this midpoint. Place the midpoint here. Here. So now, uh, remove the extra lines. Remove the extra lines or hidden edges. So this is not visible. I am removing. Not visible. Not visible. Not visible. Not visible. These are all not visible, just uh, um, uh, hidden lines. These are all hidden lines. I'm removing these hidden lines. I'm removing all hidden lines. Just trim it. And check is there any other hidden lines? Yeah, here we have hidden lines. Not visible, not visible, not visible. And remaining uh, lines or remaining edges are not visible. And this is also not visible. So uh, I'll remove these uh, edges, hidden lines. Not visible. And remaining edges are visible to observer. So this is the isometric projection of the combined solid. If you like my video, Please subscribe my channel, CAESBCE. Thank you and thank you so much.